Now, just as the mirror image of that, I want you to share in the horror of Hamas what they did to Israeli innocents on October the 7th and how they assaulted people. Yes, they butchered people, but they also assaulted and desecrated all those qualities we hold dear. Now, I've seen many of the Hamas videos of their atrocities, the videos they've circulated in various parts of the web, and it's soul-destroying stuff. It's not worth even trying to show you heavily edited clips of any of it, really. Better to share with you a bit of what journalist Joe Kelly of the Australian newspaper told Rita Panahi earlier on Credlin. Joe attended the video screening put on by the Israeli government and he's relayed that to us. A warning, this is distressing. We saw uh, footage of uh, charred bodies burned beyond recognition. Uh, obviously, the bodies of uh, children uh, that had been burnt. Uh, we saw uh, the terrorists lighting dwellings on fire. Um, uh, there were images of uh, babies that had been uh, killed. We saw footage of some rooms where um, there were too many bodies to count that had been uh, killed, uh, the floors just drenched uh, with blood. Um, so, uh, you know, that's the nature of the footage that we are talking about. Now, Joe Kelly didn't want to watch this. He decided to do it out of his sense of duty as a journalist. And good on him for doing that. The due diligence of verifying and reporting truth and context. And just listen to some of that context. The Hamas terrorists uh, were filming themselves uh, and they're smiling. Um, uh, they mm. uh, have looks of joy on, on their faces. Um, uh, there's almost sort of a sense of hysteria or, or bloodlust uh, to a, a lot of, of the footage uh, that, we, that we saw. Just chilling stuff, isn't it? Just atrocious stuff. Thanks to Joe Kelly. Your humanity helps many people in this country understand the horror that Israel is confronting. Israel, of course, must eliminate Hamas. And if the Palestinians are ever to have peace and security, they too must be freed from the tyranny of Hamas.